friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode on case study based questions class 10 cbse as per the new pattern 2021 we are going to discuss one more questions from the heights and distance or some applications of trigonometry this is the part 16 and friends previously i have uploaded 16 parts and the links of all these 16 parts are provided in the description box in the pdf format download that pdf and watch all these 16 parts to understand that which type of questions will be asked as case study based questions and how to deal with such questions also download the other study material whose links are provided in the description box so friends let us move to the question friends here is a question on the screen mr nike is a paramilitary intelligence corps officer who is tasked with planning a coup on the enemy at certain date Currently he is inspecting the area standing on the top of the cliff. Mr Nike he is a paramilitary intelligence corps officer and he has been tasked or he has been given a work to plan a coup on the enemy at certain date and currently he is standing on the cliff to observe or inspect the area. Agent Vinod is on the hot air balloon here is the agent vinod who is on the hot air balloon in the sky when mr nike looks down below the cliff towards the sea he has ajay and maran in the boats positioned to get the good vantage point when he looks down towards the sea he finds that there is ajay and maran in the boats at particular angles and the main goal is to scope out the range and the angles at which they should train their soldiers with the given information you have to answer the questions which are asked below so see the first question which is the pair of the angles of elevation now look at the pairs given here is angle a and angle b this is the angle a this is not the angle of elevation because this angle is formed below the horizontal line this is the horizontal line and this angle is formed below the horizontal line and therefore this is the angle of depression and therefore the first option is incorrect now look at the second option angle b and angle e this is the angle b this angle is formed above the horizontal line this is the horizontal line and this angle is formed above the horizontal line so this is the angle of elevation then second angle is angle e so this angle e this is the horizontal line and angle e is formed above the horizontal line and therefore this is the angle of elevation and so angle b and angle e this pair is the pair of angles of elevation and therefore the b option is the correct option and rest of the two options are incorrect now let us move to the second question which one is the pair of angles of depression see the pairs angle a and angle e angle a is the angle of depression since it is formed below the horizontal line so this is the angle of depression but with this angle e is given this angle e is not an angle of depression it is the angle of elevation because it is formed above the horizontal line and therefore the first option is not correct because one is the angle of depression and one is the angle of elevation both are not the angles of depression now see the b option angle b and angle e angle b is angle of elevation because it is formed above the horizontal line so the second option is also incorrect because one is the angle of elevation and second e that is also the angle of elevation both pairs are of angle of elevation this pair is of angle of elevation so this is incorrect now angle c and angle d angle c this is the angle c this angle is formed 
below the horizontal line and therefore angle C is the angle of depression and another is angle D. This angle D is also formed below the horizontal line and therefore angle D is also the angle of depression and therefore angle C and angle D is the correct pair of angles of depression and the last pair is incorrect. Now let us move to the another question. <clears throat> it is said that Ajay's boat is 25 meter away from the base of the cliff. Here is the Ajay and it is said that this distance means Ajay's distance from the cliff is what it is 25 meter. So the Ajay's boat is 25 meter away from the cliff and the angle of D, angle D, this angle is given as 30 degrees. This angle is given as 30 degree and what is the height of the cliff and you have to find the height of the cliff if the Ajay's distance from the cliff, if the Ajay's distance from the cliff is 25 meter and this angle D is 30 degree. Now here you see that these two are the horizontal lines so these two are parallel to each other and therefore this will be a transversal therefore angle D and angle F will be the alternate interior angles and therefore these both angles will be equal so this angle will also be 30 degree. And so here you can find that tan 30 in this triangle in this triangle correct if you join this you will get it as this triangle and in this triangle the tan 30 that is equal to opposite side upon adjacent side so opposite side is h and the adjacent side is 25 and therefore tan 30 which is equal to h upon 25 now tan 30 its value is 1 upon root 3 so 1 upon root 3 which is equal to h upon 25 so h is equal to uh, 25 upon root 3 25 upon root 3 solve this further so uh, first rationalize it so it will be h is equal to 25 root 3 upon 3 now put the value of root 3 as 1.73 so it is 25 into 1.73 divided by 3 and if you solve this you get it as 14.45 meter and therefore the correct option is C option 14.45 meter. Now let us move to the next question. It is said that if the height of the cliff is 30 meter, now here it is said that if the height of the cliff is 30 meter and the angle C is 45, this angle C is 45 degrees, this angle C is 45 degrees and angle D is 30 degrees, angle D, this angle D is 30 degrees. Then the horizontal distance between the two boats is, in this case the horizontal distance between these two boats will be how much. Now here it is given that the height of the cliff is 30 meter and this angle D, these two are the parallel lines and therefore this will be a transversal so D and F will be equal and so this will be also 30 degrees. Similarly, these two are the parallel lines and this is a transversal and so if this angle is 45, this angle will also be 45 degrees because these two are the alternate interior angles. Now we will take this triangle first, this triangle, correct? In this triangle, tan 30 that is equal to opposite upon adjacent. So tan 30, tan 30 that is equal to 30 this is 30 opposite side upon this adjacent side means the adjacent distance from the cliff 
that is not given here uh, it was given in the previous uh, example you need not to take that one it is not given in this question so you will take this as x so upon x so tan 30 is 1 upon the root 3 1 upon root 3 which is equal to 30 upon x and therefore x is equal to 30 root 3 and therefore the adjacent distance from this cliff is 30 root 3. Now the distance of Maran from the cliff that we have to find. So we will take this triangle. In this triangle tan 45 is equal to 30. Let this distance be m. So this will be m. So tan 45 is equal to 30 upon m. And when this angle is 45, remember this opposite side and the adjacent side are always equal. Always remember. So if this is 30, this will be also 30. No need to do the calculation. Huh? Very simple. If this is 90 degree, this is 45. This angle will also be 45 degree and 45 and 45. These angles are equal. So the sides opposite to that angles are also equal. So if this is 30, this will also be 30 meter. Okay, or if you put the value of 1045 is equal to 30 upon this, the value of 1045 is 1 and therefore you will get this distance also 30. So directly you have to take this distance as 30. So this total distance is 30 root 3 and this distance is 30 and therefore the difference between this two will be 30 root 3, 30 root 3 minus 30 take out 30 as a common factor inside the bracket root 3 minus 1 inside the bracket it will be root 3 minus 1 now so it will be 30 into bracket root 3 that is 1.73 minus 1 so that will be 0 0.73 if you take the product of this two you will get it as 21.9 meter and so the correct option is the D option 21.9 meter. Now let us move to the next question. Here is a question if the vertical height of the balloon from the top of the cliff is 12 meter. Now what is given that the vertical height of the balloon from the top of the cliff is 12 meter and angle B is 30 degree then the distance between the Nike and Vinod is. So here I leave it up to you. You solve this question and write your answer in the comments box whether A option will be the correct option, B option will be the correct option, C option will be the correct or the D option will be the correct option. Whether 6 meter, 12 meter, 18 meter or 24 meter will be the distance between the Nike and Vinod. This distance you have to find. I am not telling you what does it mean that what is vertical height of balloon from the top of the cliff is 12 meter. Just try yourself and give your answer through the comments box. So friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.